Alright, what's going on 2A gang? Rizzo here, CEO of Ophidian Tactical Solutions and today we are going to field strip, clean and lube the HK416D uh, chambered in uh, 22LR. Um, it won't be a, a long one and so uh, what we'll do is just go over a couple of things first like we'll say is, is a uh, um, a facsimile of the original uh, HK416 uh, chambered in 22LR. Uh, the uh, receiver is not interchangeable with any other rifle or caliber and also um, a lot of parts on here that are uh, facsimile just made to look like the real thing like uh, no um, buffer tube, the uh, Ford Assist uh, actually does not move the Bolt forward and on a 22 LR, that's kind of a good thing because if you push that and it hits the rim of the 22 um, caliber <laughs> rim file, you might get an accidental discharge. Uh, the bolt release uh, doesn't actually release the bolt or catches the bolt. If you want to lock your chamber open, just put a magazine in and pull it back and you can lock it open like that if you want to. Or need to lock it over so yeah that doesn't actually work and also the uh, uh, flash suppressor is actually threaded uh, differently um, than the original but yep those are just some things uh, just kind of go over real quick and we'll get into uh, taking this thing apart and getting it clean so being uh, safe firearm handlers again we're going to make sure we took the magazine out dropped it <laughs> we're just going to make sure that we are clear and we are clear. We are good to go. All right. So first thing we're going to do is take out our pins. Um, and one thing you need to know is that they're not captured. So um, you need to hold on to these and um, don't don't lose them. Yeah, so um, now the manual actually you can know, always read the manual. Just suggest taking out the one pin. Um, we're just going to go ahead and take them um, both out. And you notice the front is shorter. Oh, you can't notice it because you can't see. But yeah, the front pin is shorter than the rear. I don't know if you can see that. But we'll put, put y'all drop those. Put those to the side, and now we have our lower receiver and our upper receiver. So, um, according to the manual, um, this is basically as far as they want you to uh, break it down. And breaking it down any further will void your warranty. So, if you want to break it down further, you can. Uh, I'm not going to for this video, but maybe in a future video we would. Alright, so basically, I've already uh, cleaned this, but um, what you want to do is get your cleaner and get some gloves. Alright, so basically, uh, got here, you just want to take a uh, spray. Um, you can use your brush or your, uh, if you got real bad foul, just kind of get in there, just kind of clean everything out, including inside the. Um, Mag, well, inside the magazine thing, just kind of clean everything um, out. Just going through, seeing where you got uh, just any carbon. It's not real dirty. I just cleaned it not too long ago. But yeah, it's gonna go through and make sure you got everything in there um, clean. Yep, so now we'll just clean the uh, bolt assembly area and uh, if you want to, you can. button that you can push to kind of simulate so having a magazine in and kind of lock that open and yep, just going to get in and just kind of clean inside of here um, just spray um, 
a brush or whatever and just get in there and just kind of clean uh, clean it out. Let me actually spray a little bit on here even though it ain't dirty. It's clean. And you want to kind of get inside and just kind of clean uh, whatever and wherever you can. It's not going to be, like I said, it's not going to be a long uh, review because this is as far as they want you to take this down. Now, um, I'm actually not going to do the barrel uh, right now just because, like I said, I've already uh, cleaned it. But you would just take a um, a snake or whatever you got to do to uh, run through uh, from the chamber. Just run through and, uh, and clean it up. Um, snake or whatever you got to uh, to clean it out with you clean your barrel with uh, you can let it soak uh, for a while if you need to beforehand and then go through uh, run your rod through uh, scrub it and then run your uh, loop through that a little bit up but like I said I've already kind of done that so but if you can and make sure you have one that's for a 22 LR and usually I've noticed that they are harder to pull through but just put a little, little elbow grease in there my man all right, so to lube up the lower arm, um, we're going to pay, place uh, two drops of oil on each side of the pivot pin and a drop on the sear. And that's really um, all you need to do um, for, your, uh, for your lower. All right, so for your upper, um, we're just going to put a drop of oil on the uh, spring and one on the uh, extractor. So spring we'll put a little drop there one on the extractor there okay it's a lot of that off there all right so like i said um this is as far as hk recommends breaking it down if you want to break it down further um you would remove your um flash suppressor and then if you just kind of you move that if you grab your uh charging handle pull it back you can take out the charging handle and um, bolt assembly and take them out and clean them uh i'm not gonna do it like i say uh not really trying to avoid the warranty right now but i could later i can be convinced too i'm gonna shoot up a little bit before i start avoiding warranties but if you guys want to see it let me know um we can uh we can do that all right so oh, I'm about to be over with. We need to put it back together, right? All right, so let me get my pins. Got the little bit on in there. There's a certain way. It's like a little notch in there for that thing to go in. So we will put it in. Yeah. see what we have with that notch. Slide it in there. And that's that one. Put in the pivot pin. So we'll put in the takedown pin. Slide it on in. It's in there. We'll do a quick uh, systems check. Safe. works pretty good so like I said it was a quick review uh it's not a lot to it just kind of depends on whether you want to uh do what the manual says you want to uh go ahead and void the warranty and all in all it's not a whole lot for just removing um unless you got an issue and you just want to really get in there and clean it pretty good um a couple of drops of oil and you're good to go so uh that's it for the uh review um you guys got any comments anything let me know um until then We'll talk to you guys later. Stay safe. Shoot straight. Keep training. All right. HK 416D 22LR. Love it. All right, guys. All right, so here at Fitting and Tactical, we're trying to give you good quality content. Um, 
especially for new shooters or uh, people that may be uh, underrepresented in the community. So um, if these videos are helpful or informational, uh, like and subscribe. Uh, just kind of help grow the channel. That's what we're trying to do is grow, get to as many people as possible. So if you like what you see, like and subscribe. All right? You guys stay safe.